Hello and welcome back. My name's Andrew Keeping and I'm a guitarist and a producer. And today on my YouTube channel, I'm going to be talking about the Godin Multiac Concert Grand Guitar. I've been asked to talk a little bit more about the instrument. There's a lot of interest out there. And a few people have asked about the capabilities of it as solely an acoustic instrument. <clears throat> I'll give you a quick rundown on what the guitar is capable of and how I use it, certainly. As you can see, it has no sound hole, and that's because it really doesn't need it. This guitar is designed for live performance work. It's designed for working in the studio. It has a quarter inch jack input here and a 13 pin DIN plug. That 13 pin will run through to a GR55 um, synthesizer by Roland and what that will do is that will transfer it into a MIDI signal that you can then send either use the patches on the GR55 with all its various different synthesized sounds very useful capabilities there and I'll do a video on that at another time but it can also you can run the um, MIDI cable out and go into your door of choice on a computer and use your VST instruments there if that doesn't make any sense, do you know what? It can just be used as a great guitar too. One of the drawbacks that you have when you perform live on stage with an acoustic guitar is the feedback. Now, on my mini rack here, I have got my RC30, Boss RC30 loop station. I've got an LR Bags parametric equalizer, acoustic equalizer, which can notch out certain frequencies that prevent you from having that feedback sound. Um, and of course I've got my TC electronic polytune. And underneath that I've got the Volto, the pedal train Volto charge pack, which will give me at least four hours of full charge to be able to run all these, um, all these pedals. In fact, the Ella Bags acoustic, I have a battery in there. So um, that will run, it can run for, through 48 volts. Um, which I can put through some of my uh, pedals and then into uh, the amplifier to run uh, extra phantom power, if I so wish. Now, I'm running through here, quarter inch jack, through my RC30 and straight into my AER. Uh, this is one of the uh, earlier Alpha 40 amps, so 40 watt, beautiful quality, uh, very lovely reverb on there actually as well. And it's always that and the Compact 60 are always my um, amplifiers of choice. They give a pristine depiction of the sound of the instrument. Now, the guitar here, these have got some old strings. I've been doing a lot of playing recently on it, so I do need to change the strings, but forgive me for that. Let me just tell you a little bit more about this. Now, it has under saddle pickups on here. And this is our preamp section. We're not going to worry about the bottom switch here. You can see all these sliders here. The bottom slider here is to control the amount of MIDI input that we're using through the synthesizer, um, through the DIN cable. And you can mix how much MIDI with how much guitar. And this top button is the guitar switch. So I can blend the different tones. As I say, I will do a video to demonstrate um, the capabilities of that at another stage. But for today, I don't need this MIDI cable, so I'm going to switch that down. And I'm just going to turn up the guitar sound. These two buttons here will actually switch between patches on the GR55. So I can just jump up and down if I'm doing um, a show, a musical or something like that. And I want to switch between pads quite quickly. And I can program onto the GR55. I can just quickly switch between pads without having to press a button on the on the GR55, which is a very useful um, and immediate uh, tool. Excellent. This switches between different frequencies. It can actually give you a boost at frequencies or notch out certain frequencies. We're not gonna worry about that today. What we are worrying about are these middle three because these are the EQs that we're going to be using and they're very useful on this guitar I have to say I'm going to run everything straight straight up on here <clears throat> excuse me um yeah I'm going to run everything straight up on here so 
it's not going to colour the sound at all. What you hear is what you get. And I'm going to run everything in the middle here. So our bass, middle, and uh, treble frequencies. And this is what it would sound like. It's got quite a, quite a thin top to it. And in this room, don't really want that. That would be perfect if I'm on stage and I'm strumming and you want that frequency to cut through. If you're in a big room and you've got a lot of people in that room, you need to, some of those higher frequencies it will be muffled, so therefore you want those to cut through. That's where just it's middle, straight in the middle there, really good. If you want more of a Latin feel when you're on stage as well, take up the treble, take up the middles and take down. You can hear how thin that is. quite thin. But for today, I want to demonstrate this as a classical guitar. So what I'm doing, I'm taking down the treble, I'm boosting the mids, and I'm boosting the bass. And I want to round off the tone on that. You can hear it. Still a little bit thin there, so I'm going to take up the middle a little bit. There it is. It's rounding and smoothing it out. Beautiful. Now, I'm also going to boost the mids on the amplifier as well and take down the treble just a notch because it's a small space. I've got some microphones on A and B here. That's what I'm looking for. Now, I just gave you a sneak preview. Let's demo um, the capabilities of this and let's just see where we go. I've got um, through my loop pedal. I've prepared a backing track uh, for Gary Moore's Still Got the Blues, the great classic Gary Moore track. See you next time.